So today we have the second piece that came in for the Sony ZV-1, and that is the newer LS18 wide angle lens. Now, a lot of you already know that when you shoot an active steady shot on the ZV-1, it crops in, and what this is gonna allow you to do is continue to keep that wide angle shot when it crops in. So we're still doing the ZV-1 build, and this is one of the pieces that's a part of that build. Uh, Amazon messed up my order and kind of shipped them out of order, so we still on Friday, we'll receive the bracket. Now we do have the uh, small rig handle. We took a look at that. That's on the ZV-1. ZV-1 is on the tripod right now. Shooting on the front facing camera of the iPhone 13 in cinematic mode. So I uh, just thought I'd let you guys know that. What you think of this quality too? Uh, but anyway, uh, we did the handle. We have the L bracket coming and this would have been the final piece, but because they came out of order, we're gonna go ahead and put this on today, outfit it, see what it looks like and just do a little bit of testing with it just so we can make sure that everything works perfectly fine. And when we get the L bracket on Friday, um, I'll go ahead and unbox that bad boy and then we'll put the whole little rig together and just you know, see how it works from there. All right, so with that, I'm gonna show you guys uh, what comes inside this box, man. We'll outfit the Sony ZV-1 and then we'll go from there. All right, oh, last thing. Um, I paid $69 for it, but I also saw on Black Friday it was about $54 or something like that. So I actually jumped the gun a little bit a little bit early. So shame on me for that one. But anyway, I paid $69 for it. It's not on sale again. It's about $69 bucks if you want to scoop you one of these up for your Sony ZV-1. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead, jump into this unboxing, outfit this thing, and go from there. All right, let's go. All right, guys. So right here on the box, it just says newer uh, LS18 HD macro conversion lens for the Sony ZV-1. Uh, you can also screenshot this if you want to get this information in case you want to pick you one up all right so let's pop the top real quick first things first like always we're gonna have a little little manual it's kind of just gonna give you little instructions on uh, everything that's coming in the box and how to actually assemble it uh, which should be fairly easy um, and right here is what it's gonna look like right there and uh, that's about it for that you got this we'll take all of these out right here uh, down here in the bottom looks like we have a little uh, carrying bag for the lens itself that's pretty cool a carrying bag gonna have our little uh, Allen key or whatever you want to call it uh, so that we can actually install this thing so we got that as well and then down here we just have a little bit of a cleaning cloth all right little cleaning cloth all right that's about it so um, we'll throw this stuff back in here and we'll get to that or I use that at a later time all right so Let's go ahead and take a look at these lenses. Move this out the way. So right here, let's go ahead and pop this top. Or rip it open, I guess. So right here, this is going to be uh, the actual extension tube. This is what's gonna go on the actual Sony ZV-1. So you will unloosen this uh, right here, and then you will sit it on the ZV-1, and then you'll tighten it back down right there. Um, pretty cool, little extension tube. Got some little movement here, a little spring right there. So I'm assuming when the lens uh, comes forward out of the ZV-1, uh, at least it has a little bit of a spring so it can kind of move it. But you got a spring here, uh, real easy. You can take it off just like that by pressing this little button. So this piece right here will stay on the ZV-1 uh, and then you can just you know go from there. Um, so how you put this back in is you just twist it just like that. So to take that off is like this and just like that. All right, and then this is the actual lens itself. Let's go ahead and get this opened up. This little plastic be trolling me though. This little plastic do be trolling. So this lens is, is fairly heavy. You got a cap right here on the front. That's pretty good right there. I like that. Then it says macro, so what you can do is unscrew this right here, and it should be a macro lens under here. So this is the macro lens under there which I think is cool, we'll test that out as well. Screw that back in. And uh, right here, you got your little conversion lens. Right here it says newer HD wide and macro conversion lens. So got the wide lens on the front, and then you're gonna have the macro lens right here in the back. And so to put this on the actual extension tube right here, all you're gonna do is unscrew this piece here, take that off, and you'll screw this in right here on the front, just like this. And once you get that screwed into the front, you can pop this off. And uh, like I say, this is how it's gonna sit on the uh, ZV-1, just like that. And this is what your lens is gonna look like right here, all right? So real quick, I'm gonna grab the Sony ZV-1 
and uh, we'll go ahead and install this. So I also wanted to show you guys this. Now y'all know we kind of doing a small little uh, build with the ZV-1 just to kind of give us a little bit more uh, flexibility with the ZV-1. But I do have another cage L bracket that's coming and I wanted to show you guys this. Uh, the reason why I have another L bracket coming is because this doesn't fit on here as you can see. With this actual small rig cage right here, this won't fit. So we're gonna have to take this off for now so we can test this out right here on the ZV-1. But once the L bracket get here, then we should be able to apply uh, the actual lens and keep the mount. I mean, we should be able to apply the lens with the L bracket and start putting all our things back on the ZV-1. So we're still gonna test it out though. And it's real easy to remove this cage once you unscrew this. Uh, this is already screwed in so you'll be able to just take the whole cage off just like this and it will stay attached so that's a good look okay so we have everything we need right here zv1 we're going to go ahead and put this thing together one thing i want to point out is that it does have these little rubber little stoppers right here on the inside if you can see that therefore it won't damage uh, your zv1 but it's very easy uh, to put this together oh also another quick thing man i know i'm throwing a bunch of side notes in there but as far as feel goes uh this thing is plastic this is like metal uh, but this thing right here is plastic as well so these two feel real you know plasticky uh, but the premium feel comes from the lens right there so uh, just to throw that out there as a side note but anyway all you're gonna do is uh put this line it up right here across the top like that with newer facing right there you're just gonna screw screw this down real quick and I'm gonna cinch it down all the way to the max just so I can make sure everything is mounted properly so once you get that screwed in like that all you're gonna do is take this and you're gonna line up that red dot right here uh, with this red dot, just like this, and then turn. You should hear the click, and it's already coming together. Next, you're gonna take the lens, take the back cap off, just like that, and all you're gonna do is screw it onto the front, just like this. And once you screw it onto the front, this is what it looks like right here. So now we just transformed the Sony ZV-1 into a wide angle beast. <laughs> A wide angle lens to beast all right so now this is what it looks like gives a little bit of a front heavy feel but at least you have something to grip on to uh, while you're shooting so I think that's a good look right there um, it just feels it feels good I mean it, it, it makes the camera a little bit heavier and obviously it's not as compact anymore uh, as it would be uh, without this lens on it but I also like the fact that even though you have the lens on if you want to take it off it's just real simple all you do is press the button twist and take it off and you're good to go and you can still use the camera with this on it if you wanted to or you can just still take it off but if you just wanted to remove it it's just that simple and it's very simple to put it right back on just like just like that so that makes it a very uh, easy day so real quick what I'm gonna do is uh we're gonna take a couple of photos with it we're gonna take some macro shots with it and then I'm gonna show you guys uh, that wide angle feature um, as far as uh, cropping in on steady shot all right Stay tuned. So I'm gonna go ahead and demo this lens for you guys real quick. But before I do that, I just wanna say I apologize. I'm not gonna be able to get any macro and photo shots uh, with this lens today because it's raining really hard. And I wanna go ahead and get this video out to you guys. But in the future, or in this video, drop a comment. If you want me to just go out, take a few photos with this, do some macro shots and stuff in a separate video just dedicated to this lens, drop a comment and I'll make sure I do that on another day. All right, so I'm gonna demo this lens for you guys, but I wanna give you guys a little bit of a background on what we got going on here. I'm standing here on purpose because I can't go outside because it's raining. But what I've done is uh, I've placed the camera here so you can see one of our decorations here in the house right here. We're currently in standard stabilization. So in standard stabilization, this is what the crop factor looks like. Basically, there's no crop. So this is all of the view that you would technically get uh, with this steady with this uh, standard stabilization. Now, when I crop this thing in or when I go into active steady shot, it's going to crop in. But what I want you guys to do is continue to pay attention to how much of this decoration is, decoration is actually showing, all right? Now, I can't go into active steady shot while the camera's uh, recording. So I'm going to pause it real quick and I'm going to switch to active steady shot, keeping the camera and everything in the exact same spot. And I want you guys to take note of what you see now as far as this decoration is concerned in the corner here. And when I go to active steady shot, all right? So three, two, one, we finna go to active steady shot. So we're now in active steady shot. And as you can see, camera's still in the same spot, but pay attention uh, to what the decoration looks like now on the screen and how much that crop zoomed in and how much of that decoration is now not actually showing. So in real time, we're gonna put this lens on while the camera's rolling. We're gonna put this lens on the ZV-1 so that you can see how much of the crop factor, uh, well, how much um, of this wide angle that you're gonna get uh, with this lens. Now, I'm not too far away from 
you know, my background, but in general, if you were vlogging with this, you would really want to use this lens with active steady shot so that you can have optimal stabilization as well as a wide angle shot. All right. So just keep looking at the decorations. We're going to go ahead and put this on in real time. Pay attention. See how much of the decoration is showing real time. All right. Camera might move a little bit, might shake a little bit, but we're putting this on in real time. Here we go. Screwing it in. And here we go. I'm gonna take a step back and boom. Now, as you can see, I didn't move the camera or anything. I just screwed the lens right onto the front of the ZV-1. And this is now how much of the decoration you can actually see. So as you can see, dem demo on this lens, man, is kind of like, it's kind of like a no brainer. If you're gonna be doing any vlogging with the ZV-1 and you wanna go into that active steady shot, you're gonna need a lens like this, man. So I highly recommend this lens. But what I wanna also do is take this lens back off again to show you, all right? So this is what it looks like with the wide angle lens. As you can see, now we can see the decoration because I'm looking at the little viewfinder over here, but I can see now that we can see uh, the actual decoration, this, this plant over here, we can see it. All right, so let's go ahead and unscrew this lens so you can see it in real time, how much of a crop factor this uh, active steady shot actually does and watch how much um, of this decoration goes away now. All right, so here we go. We're gonna unscrew it. Let's do it. Camera might move a little bit, but work with me. Here we go. It's coming off. Three, two, one. I'm stepping right back. And now, as you can see, that's how much of the decoration is actually showing. So all in all, I think that this lens is real good uh, in regards to keeping that wide angle shot whenever you're in uh, active steady shot, which is something that you want to be in uh, when you're vlogging with the ZV-1 so you can get that optimal stabilization. All right. So again, guys, I'm going to close the video out right here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found this video to be helpful. And if you do want to see a video dedicated to taking photos with this uh, lens, macro shots, and just, you know, portrait style photos, um, drop a comment and I will do that for you guys in the future. All right. It's been your man, Jay. I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right. Peace out.